Hey, welcome back to the organizing tip of the day. No word of a lie, the 11th time I've tried to do this. I keep getting interrupted, so I'm just going with it this time. Too bad. Phone calls, kids crying, whatever. We're going with it. I don't vlog very often, and this is part of the reason why my house is craziness. And Milo, maybe Milo, is giving me a run for my money. I'm exhausted, he gets up still all night long. He's extremely demanding. Even when he naps, he naps for like 20 minutes and then he's screaming for me. I don't know if he's in pain. He has reflux. He does have some medical stuff going on, but um, I think he's just a big sucky face. <laughs> he's killing me. Anyways, so I haven't vlogged and I apologize for that, but I wanted to share with you some quick organizing tips that are helping to save me. Thank God I took the time before Milo came to put some steps and some things into place and create homes for stuff that I anticipated was going to come with having a new baby because otherwise, pretty sure my house would be a disaster. I just don't have the energy to do anything but wipe a counter. <laughs> That's it. Keeping up on laundry and maybe taking the garbage out is pretty much the extent of my cleaning lately, but things are still looking pretty tidy, and that's because I took the time to create a home for everything. If you have piles of clutter, it's probably because those things don't have a proper home, or if they do have a home, it's probably not in the right spot, or it's too difficult or complicated to use regularly. So I'm gonna show you some quick ways that I organize for my baby, but you also wanna take these into consideration when having anything new. You get a new puppy, you've gotta find a home for all that stuff, stuff that comes with the puppy. Your kids start school, you have tons of paperwork and backpacks and all of that stuff you need to create homes for. Otherwise, you're going to have piles of clutter. And one of the things that I get asked a lot are kids' artwork. They're like, oh, my kids started school and I have so much paperwork everywhere. I like using a binder to store that with plastic sleeves so when it comes home, I can just slip it in. And I'm pretty ruthless about the artwork too. But I do keep a lot like a binders full and report cards and newsletters and all of that stuff I keep and I keep it in one binder for each of my kids and I keep it right here on the kitchen because that's where it all seems to be piled. Maybe you pile your bills on the kitchen counter. That would be a logical place to put a paper filing system, a nice pretty box with like files to be paid, to be filed, one for each of your family members, things like that until you can deal with it because they're gonna be sitting there anyway. You might as well have that as the natural organizing spot. The valuable real estate as I would call it. So <laughs> come with me while I show you why I found some valuable real estate for all my baby stuff so I don't look like Baby RS or a toy store exploded in my home. <laughs> Here we go. My other two girls were on bottles, so as soon as I found out I was pregnant again, I was like, where am I gonna keep the bottles? We only have three cupboards for food. Now we only have two, <laughs> because I needed to create a spot for bottles that are easy to access, and I picked this spot because this is the most appropriate spot. It's where I boil the water, so this is where I mix the formula. It's close to the pot where I boil the bottles so I can put them away, and what I did was just got one of these drying racks. It was $7, um, and I took pliers to snip the tops off of it so it actually fit in here. So after the things are done boiled, I take this out, I dry them on, and then I put the whole thing away in the cupboard, like ultimate laziness. But it's such an awesome way to store them, and it also is the minimal work possible. And then formula, baby rice cereal, all that stuff is stored up there because I can just reach up and grab it and I make it right here by the kettle. So like I said, creating a home with optimal real estate. You may be thinking, I don't have room in my house. Well, trust me, I had no room for those bottles. I was like, what am I going to do? I had to move the food that was in that cupboard and put it in a basket on top of my fridge and the stuff that was in the basket on the top of my fridge. I had to move over here into one of those boxes over there and the stuff that was in the box over there. I had to move into the laundry room and the stuff that was in the laundry room. I had to relocate. It was like freaking insanity just to find spots for bottles, but that's the whole point of organizing. And now, instead of having them piled on my counter, like a lot of people do, just leave the baby bottles all over the counter because they have no place else to put them, I've got a convenient and easy way to put them away and keep up and keep my kitchen tidy. So yeah, on to kids' toys. Babies have a lot of toys, which is insane because he's five months and he can't even really play with a toy. 
but for some reason, I'm always taking out things like to stimulate them and to have them hold and all that stuff. So what I did before he was born was emptied these two storage ottomans. They're just from Walmart. They're very inexpensive and they're a great way in your living room to store kids' toys. Big baskets work too, but I love these because it's all hidden up. It's extra seating and it's a fast and quick way to tidy up. And I left them in here right beside where I put all the toys on the floor. Because that way it's like I scoop them up and I toss them in. Valuable real estate for that stuff. Speaking of valuable real estate, I plunk my butt right here in this chair. This chair used to be like the homeless chair that nobody sat in, but now because it's so close to his baby vibrating chair, I found it was sitting there all the time. So what I did instead of stacking stuff on the floor is I just got a little table in a basket and this is where I store my laptop, where I watch Netflix and books and magazines. I'm actually writing a zombie apocalypse novel on this little mini laptop. But just, I bought a basket to store all this stuff that I keep right here in my new home. This sad crunch chair. You can actually see my butt print in this chair. But anyways, so I created a home for all that stuff so it's not just left all out. Something as simple as a basket. I know, but that way I'm not having the clutter so when I go to dust, I don't have to move a bunch of stuff. I just wipe it down because I have a spot for everything. Babies come with a lot of other stuff. Oh, I hear him crying. Oh, you wanna come see him? He cries constantly. <gasps> Milo man. Hi, buddy. Oh, there he is. You say hi. This is Mr. Kitty. He needs to have in his face when he sleeps. And his soother has to be on him. Is it time to get up? Is it time to get up? Can you say hi? Can you say hi? I love him, but he sleeps for like 20 minutes at a time. Even at night, he's up constantly. Oh, sorry. And without that soother, <laughs> he just wails like a siren. I love him. Say hi, buddy. Say hi. So anyways, um, all of his like bouncy chairs and all that stuff, I cleared a spot in my closet for that. And that way at the end of the night, instead of like stepping on, staring at all his baby stuff, I stack it all in this closet or whenever he's done using it, I put it away. That way you don't have to move stuff when it's time to vacuum or when company comes, it has a home. I also just hung some 3M hooks for my kids' backpacks because I found that these were creating a source of clutter. They were on the kitchen floor all the time because I didn't have a home upstairs for them to go. I created a home down in the basement in the garage for them to go, but it just wasn't a convenient spot for them because how did they get their homework out or put their lunch bag in? And it needed to be upstairs in the kitchen. So that little closet right around the corner would be the perfect spot. So <laughs> whatever it is in your home that you're finding is just piling in inappropriate spots, consider creating a home right there in that spot to store it by using baskets, boxes, bins, or a convenient and close closet. Probably gonna have to do some purging, definitely gonna have to do some rearranging, but trust me, it's so worth it because when everything in your home has an easy and convenient spot, it's gonna stay a lot cleaner and you won't have to spend your time tidying when you should be spending that time with your family. Anyways, that's your tip. We'll see you next time. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. See you next time. <laughs>